Huh. You know, when they said you can just buy the cheap tickets and, you know, what's the worst that could happen? This isn't really the way that I expected it to happen. So, um, I guess welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra. And, um, we're here in, uh, the forest. And not just, uh, any forest. We're in the forest. Full of, um, dead bodies and deer and stuff. Uh, it's an early access alpha, uh, game done up by some indie fellas. Uh, I forget which part of the world they're from. I think it's somewhere in Europe. And, um, it's different -y. I think that's the best way to put it. But it's pretty cool, and... I decided to start playing this game today, um, after I was watching Good Eats with Alton Brown, and he was surviving on an island, um, and I was just like, you know, I bet I could survive on an island and prepare five-star chef, uh, foods for people, like, uh, deep-fried stewardess fingers with a side of deer chutney or something. You know, what? it can't be that hard if Alton Brown can do it on Hawaii with help from a cast and crew of photographers and film people. I mean, everyone just oversells. Ow, what the shit? I was just hurt by something. Um, but yeah, everyone kind of oversells Alton Brown doing the stuff with the things. Uh, with the film crew and everything, it's not that hard to make good production value. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go for an adventure, shall we? So, we're here on some sort of, uh, tropical... Well, maybe not tropical, but, uh, foresty, raining island in the middle of the, an ocean somewhere with both tropical trees and, like, a pine forest. I don't... Probably somewhere new, near New Zealand, maybe? I'm not super familiar. And, uh, we were on this vacation to, like, Hawaii or something, and on the way back, I, uh... It's either my child, or that was with me, or, like, a small clone that I'm raising, uh, of myself to later harvest its organs so that I can live forever. But it's one of those things, and, uh, we crash-landed on this random island, and a cannibal came in and took my small child from me. And I want him back, because, um, I mean, 90% sure knowing me that I'm going to harvest his organs eventually. So I have to ensure my immortality while we're on this crazy expedition. Conveniently, um, despite that drop in frame right there for a second, um, I don't have to search for a set for my new cooking show. We've been plopped right in the middle of one. So hey, I'm not... Not gonna eat random mushrooms. I don't trust that. I can kill myself by just eating stuff in the woods. Don't do that at home, kids. It's bad for you. Um, there's- there, there's like berries and mushrooms and everything. We gotta be careful. So, what is the forest, Mr. Chupacabra, since you seem to know so much about it? Um, well, don't let my calm demeanor fool you. I don't know very much at all. But the forest is a is a survival simulator where you you're on a an abandoned uh, not really deserted but uh, not civilized sort of savage island in the middle of the ocean and you got to survive cannibals and starvation and uh, getting murdered and dehydrating and getting eaten by cannibals and bears and you also have to find your boy clone so that you don't die of, uh, I don't know, some- some organ in my body is probably gonna fail. Uh, I do a lot of questionable things in nightclubs, that's just what chupacabras do. And so, um, we gotta figure all that out. Gonna kill Bambi, and Bambi's mother, Penny. Bambi, you don't even understand what's about to happen to you. Come back, I need to share this axe with you. Come here. Oh! Well, this is a little sooner than I expected to find one, but this game does kind of spawn you a little bit randomly. We're in the middle of uh, a cannibal village with uh, cannibal stuff for us to, to worry about later. And this is actually pretty good because I need rope. And uh, this is one of the easiest places to find it. 
is inside of this village. What the hell is this about? There's just a dead body strung up with tennis rackets. All right. I mean, I, I don't understand modern art, but this isn't the worst thing to happen all day. So, you know, all things considered, I think we're doing all right. We'll get some... There's a lot of modern art on this uh, island. Where does one just find tennis players in the middle of, an, of a tropical oasis? Unless there's like a country club nearby. I could totally, I could totally believe that is in this game. So, the difference between... Um, this game and other games like Rust or Grav or whatever, maybe not so much Grav, but like Rust and H1Z1 and stuff, um, there's definitely crafting and building and stuff, which makes a lot more sense and I feel like is a lot more, um, meaningful and less nonsensical, but, um, there's sort of like this weird sci-fi, um, paranormal thing going on on this island with the cannibals, and I'll go into detail on that uh, a little, a little bit later as I kill Bambi's mother. Alright. Get your skin. Gonna cover ourselves in as much animal flesh as humanly possible. Um... So we need to find a spot to hold up and make a base, and we need to decide if these berries are edible. I cannot tell. It's so... Oh wait, yes, they totally are edible. Sweet. Um, the trick with the berries in this game is, you see, if you, I, I'm trying to zoom in on them, there's like a little crown on them. Like a little halo where the circular thing is. That means I can put them in my mouth and they won't give me projectile vomiting or diarrhea. Which you'd think would be a really great defense mechanism for dealing with uh, crazy cannibals. But, um... No, it's- it's just a mess, and you smell weird, and the animals just look at you funny and start judging you. I- I don't super recommend it, that's all I'm saying. Like, if you wanna try it, if you wanna be a squid monster, then do it. But, yeah. So we need to find a place with some abundant resources that doesn't seem super close to cannibals. Not that there's a good way to tell. And, uh, then start building a campsite, and a- a base of operations, and I really don't have any inkling of where the hell I am. I'm tempted to believe, I don't necessarily remember 100% in this game, that, um, the forest is, like, procedurally generated to some degree. Probably to a large degree, that's very popular in games these days. And it's a pretty, pretty well-performing and pretty, pretty game. And it's, it's only an alpha right now, so I mean, there's gonna be bugs, stuff like the, the animal AIs are gonna be super, super stupid. But, um, aside from that, like, it's pretty legit. They're starting to add story elements to the game to find our boy-child-son clone thing. Uh, so that's starting to make some sense. I think I just- yeah, that's the bad berry, don't eat the red berries. And those change from game to game. So, I- my experience with, uh... Stuff you shouldn't, shouldn't eat is gonna change. And I know that because we tried... A while back, me and my buddy Mordred... To do a multiplayer Let's Play of the forest. It- It worked okay, because you can- They have like a host your own server set up... That you can do... To play online with each other. Because he lives in Florida and I live way over here in Colorado. But, um, you know, I- I didn't have a supu- a superb way of recording multiplayer audio. Cause I'm still- I'm still learning, still thinking on my feet as far as the whole audio thing is concerned. So, I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, this spot looks pretty familiar. I think there is a semi- uh, procedurally generated aspect to this game. I think there's also not at the same time, because I could have sworn there was a boat here in previous playthroughs. But there's some dead sharks, which is cool. Um, eventually there will be stuff in the water that can kill you like sharks. These are just rag dolly corpses with holes pre-cut in them. So if Larry gets lonely, he has, um, a weekend friend or two. Mmm. It's gonna be good. 
It's gonna be good. D never say that you have to be lonely on a, on a deserted island full of man-eating cannibals. There's plenty of, um, oh. Dead people and graves. And graves with a, a tape, which I can't play. And uh, looks like Polaroid photos. Okay, so this is the Polaroid photo of there's a boat somewhere, like a sailboat. So that's pretty cool. They've basically um, implemented into the game some little story elements to tell you that these things exist without directly saying it. So that's legit. I like that. Yeah, I'm down to clown with that. So, um, do 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 do. I got some rocks, and, um, alright. I'm not gonna stay where there's, like, obvious luggage and stuff. For two reasons. One, if you do, it won't respawn. Which we want, because that means free candy bars and stuff. And two, if I remember correctly, or it may have just seemed this way and wasn't really this way, there's a lot of really pretty sort of flowers, although they're only two-dimensional for the moment. Um... Cannibals tend to come where there's, like, evidence of people-y things, like luggage and stuff. Like, we're not the only people who've ever crash-landed on this island. So, um, we're gonna not just chill where we think cannibals are gonna come try to touch our fannies. And, uh, there, I suppose I can explain as we're looking for a place to build what the absolute dealio is with, uh, the cannibals. So, the cannibals are just, like, tribal people. On this island. There's some weird, like, sci-fi stuff going on in here that I'll explain later. But, um, there's two kinds. There's the feral cannibals that run around like animals and dogs. And they're pretty weak and piddly and they don't do anything meaningful. You can just murder them and eat them. Because, I mean, this is Cooking with Larry. Or it should be. The name of the, sh the show will be Chef Larry's Island Adventure. Where I cook people and animals and eat them. But, um... So the, the, there's the regular cannibals, like the feral cannibals. Alright, there's the boat. So we'll go down there and- oh. So, um, this must be the people from the boat. Before their bodies just disappeared. Whoa, that's weird. Um... And the, so there's the feral cannibals, they're weak and they're just annoying, but they don't serve a purpose other than to be annoying. And then there's, like, the legitimate civilized, or semi-civilized cannibals that, uh... What the heck, I'm, like, hung up on something. There's the semi-civilized cannibals that, uh, they will actually kill you, they have, like, weapons, and some really crappy culture, and they're involved with the weird sci-fi paranormal side of things, and they will do stuff to your butt. So we're not, uh... We're not keen on that whole butt-touching thing, for the moment. I'm gonna go down onto the beach, and we're gonna see if there's any good things in, around, or near that boat. Um, it's been a while since I've played the forest. Larry has played this off and on a couple of times. And we'll go into some details about why and my opinions of this game in Early Access later. But, um... They, they do update this game pretty dang regularly, so the thing that I'm concerned with right now is... There are sharks in the water. Uh, admittedly... They are pretty stupid, because the AIs have not been super... Um... Improved. So, hopefully... Why can't I surface? Okay. Hopefully they're still pretty stupid or I'm about to be dead. Which would be bad. Um, Larry's very attached to his organs. And, uh, there's probably good things up in this boat. So... Polaroid... ...of weird multi-limbed creature. Fantastic. Um, there's another cassette tape. I'm not going to listen... ...to the cassette tapes just yet. Uh, there's Yacht Enthusiast Monthly. I don't... Know why I'd want that. We got so Ooh, rope is important. Super important. Uh, we need lots of rope for the crafting of things. Um, is that all that's on here? Let's check the front of the boat. More rope. Need that. I want the rope because the rope is gonna let us, uh, produce crude bows and arrows. Oh, can I... Can I open that? No. 
Alright, there's no tape player on this boat anymore. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so there's like... Crude weapons you can craft, and rope is super important, and if you don't have a lot of materials, it's also a bitch to make. So we want to collect as much of that rope as possible, and eventually maul and kill these birds. But, um... We're getting kind of tired, getting kind of, uh, dark. We're gonna want to get to making... A, a base somewhere. Uh, not next to... This stuff, and there's like an island over there. We'll eventually... Want to go explore. But first, we need to craft ourselves a base. And I'm... hung up on something. Not sure what that was about. Sometimes there's like stuff that's loaded into the game. But, uh, you don't get- ooh, turtles. You don't get to see it. Ooh, hello, turtle. How are you? Turtle meat. See, this is the thing that people would eat the shit out of these turtles for before. Is turtles are slow in a lot of situations, and really easy to murder. So are these birds. Super easy to murder. I need these feathers, too. Where did the other feathers go? Alright, well, we'll- oh. Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, lady. This is a feral cannibal, isn't she cute? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. They are strong now. They are too strong for Larry. Oh, yeah, that was bad. She just tore me open. Straight up. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Nope, we should not have introduced ourselves to that nude woman. Ah, uh, let that be a lesson to you, children. If you're on the beach in a deserted tropical island, Random nude people will stab you. That's rude. Super rude. Alright, um... I think we have a chance to pause and eat some food. We have a bo boatload of granola bars, which is the whole reason why I, um... went through all that luggage, uh, so that we could heal if we encountered any cannibals and had to run. Which is exactly what just happened, so... They're not really stupid, and they do a lot more damage now, so that's... gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a Rocky Let's Play series. I can already tell. Uh, it's getting dark. Uh, we- I think we have the materials needed... to, um... build a fire. But we don't really have a safe -ish spot to build a fire. So this could get questionable... very quickly. So, let's get to building a safety fire equipment thing. Uh, there's more turtles to eat if we need them. Seems like the beach is gonna be, like, uh, a pretty important survival location for us. So that's cool. Um, we got some... survival book notifications popping up here. And this is where, um, you get to see and start to see some of the unique uh, ways that the forest handles crafting, and to be completely honest with you, I really like it, and I much prefer it to a lot of the other sort of open-ended derpy methods that people have of creating crafting systems, like in Rust and, uh, what is it? Ark Survival? I started playing that, but it doesn't run super great. Like, all that stuff, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, we need some light. What do we have for... We need shelters and stuff. Let's build a small fire. And then we can light this puppy dog. And, uh, this will keep us warm and safe through the night time. Which, I guess, is a thing now. You can get cold in the game. So I guess that makes a, a bizarre sort of sense. See if we can hit that bird with a rock eventually. Alright. So, um... It's nighttime. Nighttime things happen at nighttime. We're gonna eventually be able to move along and do stuff once the, s the, the moon comes out. Looks like the birds just kinda chillax at night still. They just kinda fly around. I'm... I'm kind of trying to stay on the lookout for cannibals, because they could beat my ass something fierce. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. And I don't know how improved their AIs have become, but, uh, they certainly could... What the hell? Oh, that's a rabbit. They certainly could come and see the fire and try to kill me. 
Uh, cannibals are, I guess, nocturnal or something. So that's going to be annoying, but whatever. We'll deal with it. I mean, you got to play this game at some... Oh, there's a dead body. All right, well, he's our friend now. He's going to be our version of Wilson. Oh, Wilson, you're so silly. Um... I don't... I don't want to go to that island right now. Oh, cargo containers. This could save our life eventually. But they're covered in effigies. Um... There's good stuff in here. We'll come back for those things and the dead body later. And this is one of the problems with the game right now is like... As you approach certain areas, stuff starts to spawn. So, like, none of these packages or boxes were spawned until we started walking over here. So, um... If you have a, a crappier PC, there's the definite possibility that you'll lag really hard when you approach these areas, so... Proceed with caution. Um, Larry's had a mixed bag of results in this game. But it's definitely cool, and they update it very regularly, so it's not like it's a huge deal to come in here and experiment with it while it's in early access. I think it's more than reasonable what's happening in the game right now. More of these lookout posts. Not sure what the deal is with those. We're just gonna need to pick a spot and build a base. And this looks like as good a spot as any, really. I don't necessarily know where the cannibals path, or how they path, where they path. So anywhere that seems less active, probably not the worst spot to hole up. And start collecting lizards. We need lizards. Lizards are the best. Alright, so... Ooh. That... Probably a party of cannibals. We're not gonna fuck with them. That's asking to get dead. That's a feral cannibal. That we are going to stay away from. See, sh th these guys tend to be... Oh, where did she go? Oh, shit. Okay, we didn't break anything. I don't know if broken legs are a thing, but um, we're gonna stay away from that campsite. Feral cannibals, it seems like, to me, that they like to... Ooh, here's a lizard. Seems like they like to chill out near, like, abandoned campsites. So that, um... There's, like, food and stuff there, but they don't get heckled as badly by the big cannibals, which do kill and eat them. And uh, it would be interesting to see, like, feral cannibals fighting the actual cannibals, and then I could go in... ...and I could conceivably kill the survivors of the battle. I would definitely be down for some opportunistic gameplay. That's all I'm saying. So... Hopefully, I'm hoping like right over here is gonna be an okay spot to build a base. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any exorbitant activity. Oh, this is a tortoise that can actually pull his head into his shell. You gonna come out, buddy? I'll kill you later. It's not a big deal now. We need to find a place to survive. And start building fires and stuff. So, uh, let's have another meal. We're running low on time for this first episode, too. We're gonna have a little bit of granola bars and some Pepsi. Some red Pepsi. It's probably like a Coke, but, you know, you can't just use Coke. Because that gets you in trouble. Unless you have a deal for a product placement. But otherwise, you get in trouble with the lawyers. So, this is just a random lake we can... ...see into? So that's a little buggy yet. Uh, which is to be expected. This is... ...very much, uh, early access game. Still very alpha. What, uh, what's going on here with the red glowy flowers? Are these just red glowing blood trees? Or this is just like aspen trees or something. Not aspen, like, uh... Oak trees? Maybe? I don't know. We're gonna... We're gonna build a base, like, right over here. Not near the lake, though. That's asking to get murdered. Uh, yeah. So we'll start 
building stuff, and that's probably what we'll leave off for this episode. There's shit around the outside of my head? Am I cold? Oh, I'm cold and wet. Build a fire to get dry. Alright, that seems fair. Um, place a fire. Oh, we're out of leaves. How do I get leaves? I guess we break down little trees. Uh, sticks, leaf collected, leaf collect- okay, so we just- We attack trees to get leaves. It used to be you had to, like, pick some of that stuff up. Don't need that. Alright, did you light it? Light it, sir. There we go. Now I can get warm. So, I guess cold is now an issue in the game as well. You can get cold and die of hypothermia. It is whittling down my health, just a touch. So we will warm up real fast. We are clean. We we were covered in blood. So that's a good first step. Um... What's in the old inventory? We've got lizard bambi skin. So we're gonna equip the deer skin, we're gonna equip the lizard skin. And that is right down there next to our health. And now we are covered in animal flesh. And that will provide us with a very limited, shitty amount of protection. Oh good! Cannibals are coming this way. Why are the cannibals coming this way? This will probably pose a problem for where we want to build our base, so... I think we're gonna leave off here for right now. Um, I might cut out some of the, sh the slow parts of this episode, because there's a lot of portions of the start of this game where not a lot happens, but that's, that's all just part of the experience. So, I mean, we'll see what I end up doing in the editor. So until next time, I've been your host, uh, Larry the Chupacabra, also your resident chef. We will eventually get into some crazy cannibal-themed uh, uh, recipes so that you can uh, learn how to cook like a cannibal. You can eat people. They taste... Oh, this is... This is... This is snow. I don't think I want to be in snow. So anyway, we'll, we'll go do some weird stuff in the forest. Join me again next time, Larry the Chupacabra. And, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, because that helps me out a whole bunch. And stay tuned, I'll play some more of The Forest. It's pretty approachable. It's a pretty simple game to get into. And we'll see, uh, where it goes. Hopefully not into the belly of a cannibal. So, have a good one, guys, and I will catch you next time.